Today I went to the zoo. And by went, I mean I'm actually here at the zoo right now. So let's see what we have in today's bag. This is a Mindshift gear bag. I brought this because I wanted a backpack to carry all of my stuff around. The idea is to use three lenses that came in from Tamron, give them a testy McTesterson so that we could do mini reviews at the new set at the factory. So I've got the, uh, the 18 to 400 mega super telephoto zoomy wide angle thing that is basically one lens to rule them all. I want to see how that works. That's going to be on the Nikon D500. I have the 24 to 70 2.8 G2 from Tamron that people are really looking forward to seeing how the results are. That one's for Canon. And I also have the, the 100 to 400 from Tamron, which is also a Canon mount. So I'm going to be using a bunch of those. Throughout the bag, I've got a GoPro so you can see my first person shooter stuff. I've got the, uh, I'm vlogging with the 6D Mark II. I've got my strap, my glasses, and that's it. Right now, I haven't seen any animals come out. There's gorillas supposed to be behind me, but they're not awake yet. So I'll go find some animals and we'll photograph them. Cool. I think this was the first time I saw the cats actually doing something. Usually it's super hot, but because we're in the middle of the winter and it was only 55 degrees out today, which is good, the cats actually were out and about. They're four sisters, four of them. So the gorillas never went out to play today. It must have been a little too cold, but I did get some good shots inside with the gorillas, so hopefully those are usable as test shots. So another thing with a variable aperture lens, something that goes up to like 6.3, you have to remember that you're not gonna blow out the background very well if you're shooting something. You may have, say, the gorilla in the foreground and then a person making a face in the background because you're not able to blow out the background at, say, f2.8. But with the longer glass, if you zoom all the way out to 400, you do have an opportunity and a chance to blow the background out of focus because you're just, you're compressing the background the more you zoom in. I have to tell you this mind shift gear, this backpack, perfect choice to have when I have to shoot multiple lenses and multiple bodies. Why? Because I can leave the one body in the bag while I'm carrying the other. It already has a lens on it and all I need to do is grab and go and I'm ready to shoot, which is great. So backpack, perfect choice for this. Now, if I was doing a shoot where I needed to switch lenses quickly, backpack, not such a good choice. This, this time, good choice. far it's been pretty good today the uh, the gorillas they're staying inside until it gets to 55 degrees or 60 it's supposed to hit that so before I leave I'm hopefully gonna get some shots with the gorillas now it's been a little more challenging with the 24 to 70 because at a zoo a 24 to 70 isn't that good but the 18 to 400 has been interesting and the 100 to 400 has been nice as well <laughs> I 
did get some cool pictures of the lemurs. They were looking at me. They're like, ooh, look at you. You're a hairy guy. You should be in the zoo here with us. But I'm not. But of course, it's always awesome to see the eagles behind me. I got some cool video of the eagles. Got some still shots of the eagles. They're great. They're easy to take pictures of here. You have to shoot through the fence, but you can do it with a longer lens and it, it works. Now, here, check this out. This is 18 millimeters uh, with the 18 to 400, and this is 400 millimeters with the 18 to 400. What a huge, huge range it is. I think I'm gonna have to take a challenge of doing a real world review or a five minute portrait with the 18. I'm thinking a five minute portrait with the 18 to uh, 400 will be in order. So that's it, back to shooting. One of the things I wanna remind you guys is when you're using variable aperture lenses is that your aperture's gonna change. If you're using something like the 18 to 400 and you're at 18, it's gonna be at one aperture. As you zoom in, you're losing light. So if you're indoors trying to use these lenses, it's gonna be much more difficult, especially when you bump the ISO up much higher, you're gonna get more noise, you're gonna see more grain, and it's gonna look blah because there's not gonna be a lot of color because it's dark. So you just have to remember that variable aperture lenses are fine, they're just gonna be better when you use them outside. So I think Tamron's done a pretty good job with all three of these lenses. I mean, they're, they're third-party lenses, right? We, we know that, but it's meant to be affordable, building a mega zoom for you guys to take out there and shoot. And if you're looking for one lens to rule them all, an 18 to 400 is definitely going to be one lens to rule them all. May not be that great indoors, because that's, that's one of the things people forget, is that indoors is where you're going to have some issues. I have to say, it's awesome to get out of the office and just focus on shooting for a couple of hours. Got here at 10, almost 1, that's 11, 12, that's like three hours I was here. And walking around, getting exercise, right? Getting exercise, bought a season pass, I can come back as much as I want for the next 365 days. I can come back every day and bring a guest and get free parking. So I think that went okay. Nothing like spending a couple hours out of the office going and shooting, testing three different lenses. Two more successfully than the other. The longer glass was much better than the uh, 24 to 70 because really there's not much to shoot with a 24 to 70. Though the Gorilla did get close to the glass and I uh, got some shots of it close to the glass, but that's it. I, I like coming out here and spending some time. I mean, I bought a, uh, a season pass, it's 85 bucks. I can bring myself, get free parking, and bring a guest every time I come. So who wants to come to the zoo with me next time? Raise your hand or hit that thumbs up button. It will help. All right, guys, see ya.